What's happening, everybody? It's Sean, joined again by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to the Classics, we got a song battle from one of our main supporters, longtime friend of the channel, CSN. We got Sloan, their song, The Lines You Amend, versus, I mean, the legends, the icons, the number one, the Beatles, the ballad of mm. John and Yoko. So before we dive into this, Trey, because we got some good tidbits on these songs, uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button below. And if you'd like to support us in any way, like CSN does, the patrons make this thing run, check out our yeah. Patreon link below. Also check out our Facebook group, great community, great stuff in there every single day. I yeah, learn something every single day. That's right, and uh, be sure to follow us on Twitch as well, a fun time streaming. And uh, this is gonna be part of a little uh, World Cup that uh, we'll yeah. be unveiling uh, through the, the coming months if uh, y'all enjoy it. Uh, so we got Canada, of course, with Sloan against uh, England with the, the Beatles. So uh, the, uh, a big big matchup here for big Sloan, matchup, you know. Uh, they're, uh, they're the underdogs from, uh, you know, the underground here, putting in the work, but uh, 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 CSN noted that uh, for the Sloan track, the lines you amend, uh, the the whole record uh, from their third record, one chord to another, features a lot of songs that with the that were inspired by the Beatles quite a bit. Each member writes and sings their own songs, so they switch parts accordingly when playing live. They can all play drums, guitar, and sing. And this song features Jay and Chris on vocals. We reviewed a later record from Sloan. We did, uh, which is up on the channel if you want to check that out. After it was the this. first song uh, written by Jay that was released as a single, and Chris described the song as being about suicide, said we mm. sort of breeze through it like it's a cutesy number, but the lyrics are heavy. One lyric makes reference to Ringo Starr's song, Photograph. Oh, cool. Well, we'll uh, have the lyrics pulled up, a short and sweet tune, only two and a half minutes, So, uh, and then we'll uh, go to the Ballad of John and Yoko. All you want to do was die. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for how pretty it sounds. Yeah. Heavy stuff. Wow, Sloan coming in big time with the lines you amend. I already got to, uh, already got to add it uh, to the like songs because I, I love that one, man. Loved it. Yeah, it was fantastic. It sounded quite a bit different than the Sloan that we reviewed, yeah. for sure. And I, I saw in the research that uh, a Rolling Stone critic said it started out sounding a lot like the Ballad of John and Yoko. So <laughs> yeah. obviously that's why CSN chose, and it was very Beatlesque, just in the harmonies and coming mm -hmm. in. They even give a shout out to, to Ringo song. They actually give a shout out to it. Yeah. Um, you know, which is a song that Ringo did actually with George. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely about suicide. And, you know, when you listen to it, it just has this kind of dreamy, fun 
just, you know, a little vibe to it. And if you're not paying attention to the lyrics, it's one of those that mm-hmm. you definitely would not know that it was about suicide. But at the second verse, if only you'd stuck around and never would have mm-hmm. made a sound. But now you're on the ocean floor and I've opened a brand new door. Wow. Yeah, man. That's, uh, this one was heavy, man. I love it. It was very heavy. I uh, really liked the uh, bass on, work on this. I thought that that was uh, thumping and... Um, and yeah, just uh, the the harmonies kind of coming in were tight, and just conveying a uh, you know only two and a half minutes. They pack a lot of stuff uh, in here, just conveying the, the aftermath of you know whenever somebody you love commits suicide, uh, and that's kind of where that Ringo right. photograph comes in. You'll always come to mind whenever I hear that song. Yeah, the one about photographs sung by Ringo Starr, especially in the chorus part. You always said, "Now don't you start," <laughs> um, and that kind of ends us out. Uh, and also later on or earlier in the track, I found the words you wrote, but I would not dare to quote my friends the lines you a man like, what's so bad about dying anyway? Another heavy line. Um, yeah, just uh, all that to say, melody was great. Re- one that gets gets stuck in your head. Great sounding tune by uh, Sloan here with the lines you amend. And now we're going to uh, have that go against the the lads from England here. We anyway, got, we're already gonna have yeah. Go ahead. We got uh, the ballad of uh, John and Yoko. And I already remember all the research on this song, <laughs> but I'll, I'll check it out here and kind of see what this got. It was a non-album single released in May of '69, written by John, as always credited to mm-hmm. McCartney or Lennon and McCartney. Chronicles events around the wedding of Lennon and Yoko. It was their 17th and final UK number one in the U.S. It was banned by some radio stations due to the reference to Christ and crucifixion Mm -hmm. peaked at number eight in the U.S. One of the things about this song, I remember, is he took it to Paul. They really weren't getting along super well. Yeah. And they went ahead and went and laid it down, just those two. So it was kind of a bonding experience. One of the last ones that they had. So that's why this song is kind of special. No, definitely. Uh, it's always... Uh, it, it, it's a bit of a polarizing track for, I know, some Beatles fans. Mm-hmm. But I've always enjoyed it. I've so. always enjoyed it as well. Um, let's get to, get to it, and then we'll get our winner at the end. The Ballad of John and Yoko coming in here. Um I'll let you let you start her off, Dad. I know we're both very familiar with this track. We're very familiar with. I think you know it brings a smile to my face. Not because it's not one of my favorite Beatles songs by mm-hmm. any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it just brings a smile to my face because I'm imagining the scenario where you know it's just them in the studio and the way that you know it shows off Paul's talent. The fact that he plays the piano, the bass, the maracas, the drum. Dude, yeah. John's doing acoustic and the lead guitar. Um, you know, and Paul, Paul Pack at the very end, you can kind of hear his back. Yeah, vocals he's, he's jumping in there at the end. And I think one of the things it's it's a highly personal Beatles song, mm-hmm. and there's not a ton of those in their catalog. You're right. You know, there's some, point. but there's a ton of them. You know, it's highly personal. John's on his way out the door. He's got not only foot out there, both feet. He's just <laughs> yeah. he's just got his fingers hanging into the door frame. and still in the picture with the Beatles. Um, but, you know, I, I really enjoy it. It's just autobiographical, talking about that time and everything they yeah. did. And kind of how everybody's, you know, in his mind, persecuting uh, them. And that's why he uses right. the Christ in crucifixion. And I can see why. That offended some people. We're both Christians. It doesn't offend me, but you no, know, there's a lot of people in our in our belief system that get highly offended when they're looking for stuff to get offended by. But you know, there's a lot of things to get offended by in life. This isn't one of them. But what do you think? No, yeah, I, I echo a lot of your same thoughts. I thought uh, Paul's on fire here instrumentally. Yes. Um, I always like whenever he. Uh, he steps behind the drum kit, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just so you get some of the more uh, like yeah inner inner thoughts uh, from a beetle. Right. On this one, like uh, the newspaper said, she's gone through his head. They look just like two gurus and drag, um, kind of noting and yeah, just uh, how how what people were saying affected exactly. John and whatnot. Um, again, bass work by Paul here, especially at the start, really stands out. And you can see where Sloan uh, took that influence can, there. But um, in a very respectful and good yeah. way. They didn't copy it. No. They didn't, you know, it's just influence. And I think that's the highest form of compliment. No, definitely. So, uh, I mean, two two great tunes here. Yeah. And uh, now I guess that'll take us to our, uh, our our winners here. We got the lines you amend by Sloan against the ballad of John and Yoko by uh, the Beatles. Um, you know, you really could just be credited to, to Lennon and McCartney on that sure. uh, by themselves. But uh, what do you got, Dad? Well, the lines you amend was a lot better. It was a lot, I don't know want to say better, but it was a lot stronger in the battle than I thought it would mm-hmm. be. It's, it's an excellent song. You know, I mean, I can't go against just the <laughs> Beatles. It's just how it is. I mean, I would pick against them. I have before and on live streams when we have mm-hmm. song battles, but... 
on this one, I've got to go with the Beatles, but that Sloan tune is fantastic. Well, just to stir up some controversy, oh, I'm going to be careful. a little bit of the hot take, man. And I'm going with Sloan, the lines you amend. I do think it is stronger lyrically. And um, even though the ballad of John and Yoko might be uh, um, stronger instrumentally, I also got to give the harmonies to Sloan just because there wasn't any harmonies, of course, on the, uh, the Beatles. Well, too. yeah, so, so yeah, I guess so. so. I guess you could give that to him. I think I can't uh, wait for the comet. They think Sloan's better than the Beatles, guys. I can't wait for it to come. But uh, for this battle and these songs, yeah, man. No, I respect the I World can see Cup, it. we're going. I'm flying my my maple leaf, my Canada flag. We got a lot flag, of friends in Canada, and uh, we're gonna have a, another battle, a uh, little World Cup battle, Canada and England coming up soon on the channel as well. But let us know your uh, your winner down in the comment section below, y'all. And again, shout out to my guy CSN. For, uh, for suggesting yeah, this one to great us. great one, man. So uh, until next time, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.